Hey guys, it's Jackie here, aka Unbanded Cutie, the artist formerly known as Banded Cutie, and I have really big news, and that's why I have decided after a couple months hiatus to come on here and make a fudge video. I almost cussed. Um, guys, as the title of this video is called, The Time Has Come. I have been working at my job for about four months now, and in those four months, I have only taken off two days for week holidays. I learned something new about my job today. Um, one, my insurance cards came in, so now I am officially covered under medical insurance, so, so yay, kudos to that. And two, um, unlike my other job where the PTO rolls over to the next year and you can keep rolling it over, you can actually be paid out, or you can just take a buckload of vacation time. Um, in this hospital, you either have to use it or you lose it. So I found out today that I have a ton of hours towards PTO because I've been there for four months um, and I only took two days off. And um, I have to use that PTO before December 22nd. So guys, the time has come. I have been procrastinating, as is my nature, on making a decision. One, because I'm freaking scared. And two, because I really am stuck. I don't know which surgery is best. Um, don't mind my hair. I just came back from dancing. So, guys, you're going to ask me. Jackie, you got your lap band taken out one year ago, minus three days, because it is now the 18th. You got your lap band taken out. Um, one year ago due to, you know, complications and whatnot. If you don't know what happened, go to that video. Or ask around, ask me on Facebook, I'll give you a full detailed um, count. So, you're saying, what have you done to maintain weight loss or to prevent weight gain? As you can tell, my face is fuller, my arms are bigger, um, stretch marks are back. I've gained about 90% of my weight back. And, you know, I'm not going to lie, for the first six months it was depression and it was stress eating you know I was sad I felt like I failed my band you know I secluded myself from the community and I was ashamed because I did this to myself that was my mental space at the time but then I come to think about it you know when I went back to see my doctor in February and I went to get a consultation to decide you know maybe I should have revision surgery you know he put it into my mind sometimes it's just as simple as genetic makeup my dad's side of the family is full of obese people 300 plus pounds my mom's side everybody's thin most of my cousins and my brother and everyone they're thin I just happen to get my dad's makeup so um, I'm not saying that's 100% of the reason why I gained weight, but I know that I've been, uh, I was thinking Spanish, I put my part in, does that translate right? I don't know. Ponida mi parte? Puse de mi parte? I put, damn bilingual people, I put my part in, I think that's how it translates. Um, you know, as you can tell, I just came back from dance class. I dance and I go to the gym. I dance five hours a week and I've been on Weight Watchers for the last three months. I've been working the points. I've been getting my water and I've been making sure that I eat fruits and vegetables. I eat salads almost every day for lunch. And I gain the weight back. I'm still gaining weight. I make sure I don't eat after 7 o'clock. I'm still gaining weight. So guys... Basically, I'm just going to wrap this up very, very quickly. Um, I have a decision to make. And for most of you, I am going to the meet and greet. I'll be shit to the weight bigger than I was last year. But I know that you guys don't care about that because we've been there, than that. But I will be there with my notebook and tape recorder getting your personal stories, okay? I want to know how it was like for you, you know, to choose the surgery that you had. How was the recuperation process? Um... I've watched your videos, but I, I, like, I don't even know how to explain. Like, I'm shaking trying to make a decision because I know that I need this because I don't want to end up where I was or where I will go if I don't take action now. And two, like, I, I've already started experiencing the, complica the com complications. I don't want them back. Okay, so guys, leave it in a message, share this video around, do whatever it is you need to do. I want to know your personal experience, your personal stories. Email me, Facebook me, um, private message me, Twitter me, do everything that you need to do to tell me your story. Okay, how was your recuperation process? What led you to choose your surgery? Um, when did you get to go back to work? 
when did you get to exercise? What were some complications that maybe you had that, you know, you weren't really expecting? And two, you know, what were the things that you looked forward to? What were the things that made you smile at the end of the day? So, guys, that's it. Don't mind the hair. This is what it looks like. Bye, guys.